Hey guys, welcome back to a revisit of uh, one of our earlier projects. This is the <clears throat> DHT11 with the uh, 0.96 I2C OLED display uh, weather station, which gives us a readout of temperature and humidity. And it's a nice little project, um, pretty easy to do. If you haven't seen the original video, uh, look down here below. There's a link to it. But what we're going to do today is we are going to add a little bit of extra functionality to it by adding a relay. So let's turn that off for a minute. Now this is a ten amp hundred and twenty volt relay. You see it has three contacts. This side is the geez, I can't even see what it says. Okay. This is the normally closed, this is the common, and this is the normally open. So um, if you want a, uh, something to turn on when the relay is engaged, you have the, you put it in the normally open and the common. If you want something to turn off, you do the opposite. So the connections for it are quite simple. Three pins, ground, five volt, and signal. So let's plug it into the old Arduino here and hook her up. We'll start with the signal pin. Which is going to go in this case to digital three on the nano. Then five volt going to our positive rail and ground, of course, going to the ground rail. Now you can see that nothing much to it. All we need now is to add a little bit of programming and she'll be good to go. So let's head on over to the PC and crack open the Arduino IDE and write us a little sketch. Well, actually, let's modify a previous sketch. Why reinvent the wheel? Okay, guys, here's just something new I've uh, kind of whipped together to help you out with the uh, hookups because I know they're kind of hard to see through the camera. So I'm going to try and stick to a general color scheme and make things easier for you guys. So red wires are always going to be uh, plus 5 volts, black wires ground, yellow wires signal, blue and green wires are uh, I squared C communication, and orange will be 3.3 uh, .3 volts. So 5 volts out from the Arduino to the positive rail, ground to the ground rail. It's the same for the relay. It's the same for the DHT. Now for the OLED, which is a 3.3 .3 volt, ground is ground because we always need all of our grounds hooked together. But you see we have this orange one coming from VCC that goes over to the 3.3 .3 on the Nano. Next we have our DHT signal pin going to D2. The relay signal pin goes to D3 and our I squared C serial data is a four serial clock a five so that's that nothing much to it um, if you like this leave a comment and I'll keep doing it now let's get into the pro all right guys here is our coding um, we've talked about this in the previous video only one thing is different 
but I'm going to go over it quickly with you guys anyway because I want to make sure you understand. All right, here are our includes, the Adafruit sensor library, the two for DHT, our two for communications, and our two for the uh, OLED screen. Um, what pin the DHT is on, OLED reset. Um, this stuff is all from the Adafruit graphics library, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, they have excellent tutorials on their site. You can check that out if you're interested. We're going to define or uh, set an integer. <laughs> We're going to declare an integer variable called relay on pin 3. Then down here we're going to define our DHT type. There's three types, 11, 21, and 22. We're using an 11, you need to tell it. And then just some setup parameters for the DHT. All right, down here in our setup, only one thing really, we need to set the pin mode for the relay to output. Okay. Our DHT begin that tells it to start listening to the sensor and our display begin which tells it to start uh, listening to the OLED display display command clears the screen and prints what's on it. Uh, excuse me I misspoke it displays the data in the buffer so all this Adafruit logo stuff gets displayed here and we're going to wait two seconds and we're going to clear the buffer and we begin down here getting our readings for the temperature and then our readings for the humidity we print them out blah 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 it's been done check out that previous video and here's the only difference to the code this is our trigger for the relay and we're just saying if the humidity is greater than 39% turn the relay on if not turn it off uh, it really doesn't get much more simple than that guys let's send it out to the Arduino and take a look okay we're all ready to give her a test everything's hooked up and there is a little LED back there hopefully you'll be able to see it go and hear it trigger what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe into this and see if we can't there we go and the relay triggers so really that's all there is to it when that drops down below 39 percent which should happen relatively quick um, the relay will go back off. So let's give it a few seconds and see if that happens. If it, if it doesn't happen right away, I will uh, pause the video until it goes down. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this thing count down. <laughs> well, it sat at, um, well, there it goes, 41%. 32%. Now it's switching itself on and off. But you get the idea. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?